All right, we have made us some wing or aileron tips, I guess. Flapper on tips. Uh, I wanted some tips. I kind of like the looks of the wing tip itself. And uh, to make those, so I just took a piece of balsa and made it where it would slide inside the uh, aileron tip itself. This side, I took a photograph of the wing tip itself when I had it off. Uh, and I just photoed the end of it and I put that on the computer and I started uh, printing these out and it took me three or four times to get the right size and then I just printed out a picture of the wing tip that would print out the size that I wanted and then I simply made them fit by putting them mounting them to the balsa wood and I'm getting ready to glue them in to the flapper on itself. Have a matching set of wing tips and mini tips. So I thought that was pretty neat. Okay, we're working on the stall fences that go on the wing. Now they don't tell you in the book that your ailerons will not fold up with the original shape. So I just took mine and held it up against the green wing tips and marked them. Marked them off there. And uh, I started right here at the corner and then cut them off. Cut them off to match and then it's got the same shape now as your wing tips out there have. And Getting rid of this right here will allow it to fold up for you. You're taking off approximately close to two inches there. And that will that will allow your ailerons to fold up. So when you fold the wings, you won't be running into it. Otherwise, this will dent your ailerons. So heads up on those before you paint them. I had mine primed before I found that out, but uh, at least I didn't have them painted yet. All right, back. And we're finally going to try to get these cowlings painted, primed up anyway. We have sanded. We brought them in here. We thought we was ready to go when we brought them back into here. But then we found some more filling and sanding, and we've got another four or five hours of sanding in them. So hopefully we're ready to shoot a shot of primer on there and we'll sand it off pretty well and see what it looks like then. Hopefully we can get her in a couple shots of primer. See what they look like. Justin's been hard at it sanding too. He just loves sanding. <laughs> now we're getting ready to give it them uh, two or three baths of uh, thinner, denatured alcohol or lacquer thinner, whatever we decide to use before we're ready to prime. Got the first coat of primer on and we got it sanded down. Found all of our high spots. <coughs> Filled a few extras that we found here, there, and yon that we missed. Really easy to miss stuff. Ready for the final final primer trip. Light sanding and then we'll paint it hopefully if the primer goes on good. I don't get any big runs. <laughs> they say there's a run in every can. I think I get two in mine. Alrighty, we'll call her good for today and 
Maybe we wipe these down and get our last coat of primer on tomorrow. That will be New Year's Day. We'll see how we're feeling then. Well, we got the cowlings painted finally. Give them two coats of primer, sand the first coat off, primed them again. Uh, two coats of base, 2K base, and then the 2K semi-gloss. I did pretty good if I pat myself on the back till I got to the 2K gloss and I got a little orange peel, but that's just the way they are and probably the way they're going to stay. A good coat of dust on there and you'll never notice it. So, glad to get them done. We'll get them mounted on the plane. Getting her one step closer to being ready to fly when we get back from getting our tail wheel rating.